Will something bug out? Hopefully not. Hopefully nothing bugs out. Except my shit. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, that's one way to start the video. Um, hello everyone, and welcome to the video and the live stream again for the third time this day. Uh, yeah, I've had a few live stream issues before even starting, and a few um issues in the past to the point where I unfortunately have to restart the digi lock because. I got far, well, I mean, far into the game, but it's like, and it auto saved, so I can't go back. And it's kind of important for doing a digi lock to see the entirety of the digi lock, if you know what I mean. But um, I'm sure if anyone's seen the last video, you understand like how digi lock works. It's basically just Nuzlocke rules, but with Digimon, the only change there is. Is um, and I'm saying this for people who have not seen the first two videos. Um, the only change there is is basically with how Digimon works, you have to like encounter them multiple times until you get like a 100% scan. Um, so basically, whatever is the first 100% scan we get is the Digimon we catch. Now, I'm gonna change things a little bit, I'm just gonna dial it back a little bit in the sense of. Instead of doing a wheel, we're just going to do a standard, you know, Nuzlocke, basically, where, you know, we just do stuff and things of, the, of that nature. I think my... Okay, sorry. My thing is a bit wonky. Uh, and thing of that nature. But yeah, that's all. That's the only difference. We're just going to dub it down to a normal Nuzlocke. So basically, we just have the rules. We have normal double with me. You, you see it all on screen. It's fine. I don't want to waste any of your guys' time, so let's just get right into it. Let's just not waste any more time with this BS. We've, I've had enough of everything else's BS up to this point. Uh, the only sad part about this version of the Nuzlocke is, well, um, if a Digimon dies, I can't get them back. They are dead forever. So, or you know. Not, not alive anymore, however YouTube wants me to say it now. Which is so dumb, like... I'm sorry, like, news exists. It's gonna get somewhere soon enough, and they talk about death, so I'm sorry. It's just dumb, but that's one of the things. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy everything, at least as far as I can tell, is working out just fine. Let me just... Make sure everything's working out. Yeah, you guys have a bit of... You're, you're a bit behind. A little bit, but not by much. It's like a few seconds, looks like it. At least judging by this. Oh, I need a cup of coffee. I, I can't deal with any of this bullshit anymore. I probably should move the mouse off screen. <laughs> Which I like how you, I can now do, just move the entire mouse off screen. Also, by the way, Merry Christmas, everybody! Or, I guess, a bit later than Christmas, I guess. I don't know. But Merry Christmas! I hope you have a, had a very well Christmas. And I hope that... Besides the just sure the annoyance I had at the beginning of the stream, I hope the rest of this live stream can give you a very jolly day after Christmas. Flash for Boxing Day. Maybe I should have um, made Gilmon the boxer down here. Just like ding ding ding, just put a given boxing glove. Just for Boxing Day. But eh. How am I going to do New Year's now that I think about it? I do a... Ah, there's no way I can do a mega live stream because unfortunately I have to work on a... On a no. Oh well. Is that Dark Knight Satan? Am I reading that correctly? <laughs> Just off to the left here? The little, uh... Oh wait, hold on. The little, like, ball down here? The purple blob? 
Uh, now hopefully this goes completely. Also, I forgot to mention this. Um, I've decided to mod the game a little. Don't worry, I haven't put any overpowered Digimon in this game. Well, okay, overpowered in the sense like, okay, they're end game Digimon. Like, but they're, but they're not overpowered in the sense like, oh, these guys are maxed to their, they have like their max stats, max IB, all that stuff. Like, no, not that much. It's just adding new Digimon evolutions and new Digimon in general, and also adding encounters to the area. So, for example, um, in Hacker's Memory, there's this very specific virus type Digimon that you cannot get at all. Like, you cannot encounter that virus type Digimon unless you play Hacker's Memory. But in this, he is a proper encounter. So there's a chance of getting him. There's also a bunch of Digivolutions. There's also a lot of... And I mean, and it's from across the series, too. We're talking... I mean, uh, we're talking... Uh, Cross Wars, we're talking... Yeah, basically every Digi I almost want to say every Digimon up to Cross Wars. I don't know... But the thing is, I don't know if it's Cross Wars... Up to Cross Wars 1? Or Cross Wars 2? Because... The reason I say Cross Cross Wars 2, specifically, is because I don't know if Gumdramon is in the game, and Aristramon. I don't know if they're in the mod. I know all of Shalkmon's group is in the mod. All of Shalkmon's group is there. Because I, I saw it. I saw it. I saw those were the Digimon. So, they're here. I don't know about Aristramon. I don't know about Gumdramon. Which also means I don't know if Superior Mode is a thing in this game. In this mod, but basically, all Digimon variants are here, stuff like that, and that's all. I probably should read this now because this now there's no like audio or whatever. Anyway, Akino and Blue Box went on with their late night gap set fest. As always, topics were loose with no real focus. Eventually, dawn broke outside their windows. That was the day they were finally going to meet in Eden. They spent the day much as they did the day before, and then the appointed time drew near. Okay, I went for a mail this time, so I guess I'm not going to change that. Um, I'm also going to call it the same name as I did, Primus. This is going to be weird to call someone like King Primus, so just Primus will do. There we go. Actually, I probably should keep this active just to make sure that the stream doesn't lag. Let me, think about it. Let me just keep it on. Ah, uh, there we go. This reminds me of uh, Summer Wars, or uh, you know, the the first Digimon movie. It reminds me of that a lot. Just the way it looks. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I am surprised that we never got a in this game, because I played through this game already. I am surprised we never got a Cross Wars or like not not Cross Wars. A Digimon movie reference in this game. At all. Like like an actual fight scene between, you know, Diaboromon and Omnimon in this world, considering it's the internet. Like, you would expect, like, that to be, well, you know, the big live stream thing. Also, I better, sh I, I guess, I can show you one thing I got for Christmas. <laughs> this little chopper bastard. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> okay. Well, he's just going to be chilling right. Well, you can't really see him, unfortunately. But he's going to be chilling right up to the side here. All right, the entrance to Eden, this is where we promised to meet. I'm here t a little earlier than, uh, than we agreed on. I'm guessing Akino and Blue Box still aren't here. Yeah, the stream is a little bit behind, but so far it's running very smoothly. Especially the camera, like that's the thing that was giving me such a headache before. This will be the first time we've met outside of a chat room. 
I don't know what their avatars look like though. But I should be able to figure it out. I'll try making small talk with the Eden avatars in the area. I'm actually curious to see what team we make because again, I modded this so there's new Digimon like evolutions and stuff so I have almost no idea where this is gonna go. Uh, like at any rate. Like we could get the most scuffed weird team there is. And keep on, some of the evolutions are also now limited to certain Digimon, so like, I can't get Gilmon from Koromon. I have to find the baby version of Gilmon now. Like the, the, and I mean baby, I mean the very, very first evolution he ever turns into. So like, what's this? I forget what this is, is this the middle? Um, or a middle? Yes, a gummy mod middle. I'm not reading this because this is just random dialogue. It ultimately doesn't matter. There doesn't seem to be any avatars like them. I, them. I guess I showed up too early after all. There's still time left before our meeting. I should check out some of the other areas. Check out the other areas, aka one. Uh, I'm so happy that I got this to work. I'm so, so happy. I don't know what was making it lag, but all I did was like reset stuff and I'm so happy. And hopefully, and also to make up for the fact that I unfortunately couldn't record the other two live streams to make up for last week, we'll record three three live streams this week, and this one specifically is going to be a bit longer. I would say about five hours maybe from whenever we started. So this will be this community area. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah. I'm, Either five hours, four hours, something like that. Just longer than usual. My Digivice, Digivice, my Digivice's, my Digivice talk feature is getting a call. Who could it be? Oh, who could it be? Oh, it is me, huh? Hey there, I am Mr. Native, otherwise known as Big Master, Lord and Savior. Oh, just one sec. You're behind schedule, silly. You're, you're gonna be late. Oh, hurry up. Come to Galaka for now. Come to Disneyland Park in Kowloon. Oh, your two friends arrived a little while ago and, I'm, and are waiting for you. I have a gift for you all, but everyone has to be there first. Bye bye. Oh! <laughs> Why did I give Mr. Native the Mickey Mouse voice? Isn't that a dangerous area? What should I do? I have to hurry. Anyway, the others are waiting for me. I better hurry to go to park and clue. I've never been... I've never even been anywhere near clue. How do I get there? There might be someone who knows how to get to Liger Park in Kaloon. I better ox around. Okay, yep. I will say this game probably has the best tutorial out of anything because it progresses. It hits the right balance of teaching you something new. Granted, it is a an RPG, so like there's a wall of text for you to read, but like. It does a good- it strikes a good balance between telling you what to do and progressing the story. It doesn't- like, the one thing I've always hated about RPGs and MMOs is the grinding. Now granted, that's- you could say that's what I expected, but you need to hit that balance of progressing it enough to progress to the higher levels, and also it being fun to do so. And I think this thing has nailed something that I think RPGs don't usually nail, 
in MMOs, which is uh, the grinding is a little bit fun. It's still fun. Like I do like the gameplay loop. Uh, and the story, the, basically the progression of teaching you something new, grinding, and story progression is all balanced, I think, very well. There's only like one time, or, like one part of the game where like it feels a bit longer. But to be fair, it's end game. Like it's uber end game. So it's like you have to grind the shit out of it. I got to the URL. Now I can go to Kaloon. Oh, hello. Mr. Native is waiting for me. Why am I doing that? <laughs> I, every time Mr. Native is going to speak now, I'm going to have to give him voice. Well, to be fair, he's not here for very long, so I guess it's fine. Uh, Alright. Oh, uh, gosh. Also, I want to make this clear because... Also, just because it's like, again, it's so... It's just the way the game functions, it's gonna be different from, like, Pokemon Nuzlocke's. Until we get our first, like, our second Digimon, basically, until we catch our second Digimon, we, uh, will not do anything. Or, sorry, basically none of the rules apply, like, basically death or all that. If I die before I get the second Digimon, it does not count. But after I get the second Digimon, it counts. And trust me, you get it relatively fast in this game, so it's it's not gonna take a while. Basically, this rule's only gonna apply for like the first half of the prologue. At best. Like at best it's gonna be the first half of the prologue. With that. Uh Oh, hey, I'm Akina. Oh, this is your first time in Eden, right? My name is Nokuno Shim er, Shir Shira, Shira Mine. Hello, nice to meet you. Not. You're late. What are, were you doing? Leaving me all alone in such a dangerous place. How would you feel if you were in my shoes? Okay, I just want to clarify this. You wanted to be here, not me. I could have stayed home, had some chips, a drink. I could be literally pissing somewhere else and doing something better than this. I did not want to be here. I tagged along with you because it sounded fun. But do not berate me for trying to have, trying to make sure my friend is going to stay alive which I'll continue to do for this entire story. As much as I give her shit for this beginning part, I I do like Nokia. At least for everything else after this, it's like, okay, yeah, that I can see why you're afraid. <laughs> you're asking if Blue Box has shown up yet? Oh, he showed up, all right. But what does that ma even matter? Like, can you believe this? He's all, oh, I've, oh, I've got to go and find a ghost. And all of a sudden, he's right running off by himself. That's how is how he rolls, apparently. 100% full of himself. Thinks he's all that just because he's got good looks or whatever. This literally is just a reverse of Sasuke and uh, Sakura. Like, she is the Sakura of this group, basically. And I have, as, but for some reason, he's, she's still likable, to put it plainly. If I'm being just brutally honest with you. But it's literally a reverse Sasuke and, um, uh, and Sakura. Why did I blank on that for a minute? Sakura and Sasuke thing. Except Sakura doesn't like Sasuke. Or me, as far as I'm concerned. Then again, at certain points of this game, it's just that. But I don't know anymore. And so, like what? The ghost of the pale boy? I've heard rumors, but don't know the details. What does he even plan to do if he finds it? I mean, ghosts in cyberspace? That's unscientific. Scientific. It doesn't even make any sense. Not that I'm scared or nothing. Boo. Yeek! <laughs> oh gosh, I just broke my throat, I think. 
Whoa, whoa, easy there. Overreacting a bit there, aren't we? Oh, jeez, Arta, it's just you. I thought you were a ghost. Sheesh, you don't have to act all tough by coming to a place like this if you're chicken, you know. H hey! Hey now, you're the one who ditched me in that place like this. Arta, you slimy little no good. Oh, just shut your trap. <laughs> this is literally reversed. Anyhow. We've never met here before, have we? I'm Arta Sanada. Nice to meet you and all that. I get he's putting his hands in his pocket, but just because, but because there's no like animation of clearly the po his hands sliding in the pockets, or like it's a solid texture, it just looks weird. Hey, now that's no proper introduction. You must have put two and two together, but now, by now, but this is the person behind Blue Box. He's not what you imagine, is he? In the chat, he's kind of a cons he's kind, considerate, like a reliable big brother figure, right? When I first met him, I was really weirded out. He's slur, sir, sir, sir. What is this word? He's surly, self-absorbed. He's got this weird look in his eye. I mean, talk about a waste of good looks, am I right? Leave the stupidity for later, okay? So while I was waiting for Primus, I took a look around. I thought that Mr. Native fellow, oh, fellow who, who you who called us here might be around. What? I thought you were looking for ghosts. Well, I was doing a little of that too. But in the end, I found neither. Rather, there wasn't anyone around to be found. You'd think there'd be one or two hackers in an area like the an area like loot, no matter how dangerous it is. So very sorry to keep you waiting. I'm Mr. Native Paul, oh, but you can call me Mickey. I've got something for all of you, good boys and girl. Oh, who should hold up here today? Oh, this is a miraculous power to change the world. It's called Disney magic. <laughs> huh? What? What is this? It's hacking. We've been. We've all been hacked. A new program has been installed! Digimon Capture! Oh -ho! I know that's not... Well, this is Mr. N well, this Mr. Native fellow is no slouch. He broke through my firewall like it was nothing. Digimon Capture? It's a hacking tool that's been making the rounds with hackers lately. Wait, so when you say Digimon, you mean like Digimon Digimon? Okay, cut the music! Just, just, just stop. Stop the music. Stop all the music. What other Digimon are there? <laughs> I know I'm giving her shit for the first part because she d does get at least a bit more tolerable later. But this part's just confusing. Like, what other Digimon? What other ones exist? That always confused me by that sentence. Yes, those Digimon. Dumbass. The ones you're so interested in. Hmm, there's a certain kind of data known as digital monsters, then. Then you can capture by scanning this thing. This thing says, "Ah, so Digimon is short for Digital Monsters." I know he's pretending, but okay. What? What? Whoa! Hey, hang on. Digimon are like nasty programs that hacker use. Hackers use, right? So then, so then, so then that means have we become hackers? Dun dun dun! <laughs> well, I suppose you could put it that way. Well, it's no big deal. Hackers are nothing out of the ordinary nowadays. No way. Uh-huh. Hackers are bad news. I'm not doing this. I don't want any part of this. I'm gonna delete this program. Uh, what? No way. You've gotta be kidding me. I can't uninstall this thing? Leave it. Leave it be. The program's protected. Who knows what will happen if you force delete it? Eep! What do you mean? Oh, 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 goodbye, suckers. So that was Mr. Native. Don't let, don't let him get away.
Is it bad that I want an actual anime of this game? Is that a bad thing? Because I kind of like this thing a lot. Arata, hold up. Why are, are we chasing him? I'm out of here. I'm going home. Here you hear? Oh, you can't leave the land of magic and fun. Oh, what is this? It wasn't here before. What is... What's it doing here? Did someone hack... Did some hacker do this too? Is this... Is this telling us to keep going onward? Are you not letting us go back home? Alright, it could be needed. Let's go. No, I'm not going. I won't. Like, she's a pain only for this part and <laughs> annoying at this part. She gets a lot better later. Later, so I'm just gonna take my things in while I can. Okay, let's save because I don't want to go through that entire cutscene again. Um, let me not save over that. There we go. Alright. Uh, I don't care if I feel slow, I'm just happy that this works. Yeah. Does the Kowloon area stretch all the way back through here? Feels like the total... Feels totally different from the cyberspace areas on the upper part of the Eden network. There's no trace of Arata, he may have gone further inside. Why oh, always me? I should be careful. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Uh, at least I know relatively where to go from here on him. This is a random place to put a cutscene. I'm just saying that now is a little bit of a weird place to place a cutscene. Considering. has been inscribed. <laughs> That's probably perfectly what that would sound like, too. Just random jargon. What was that? Probably shouldn't have chosen to eat while... Well, Kaloon is as dangerous as they. Who knows what might happen here? Hurry hurry up. Find our time. Get out. And get out of here. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Saw a ghost that looked like me? If that's true, that ghost might have been someone, some call, might have been me. Some call me the Wrath of Eden. They say I'm not of this world. The truth is simply that I'm rather elusive and tend to turn up unexpectedly, that's all. Please relax, I'm not a ghost, I am very real here. I'm I'm very real here in the in Eden. <laughs> I exist to guide those who are lost, like you. 
If you just had a program installed, Digimon Capture would mix you up as a marks you as a hacker. But you are still merely a fledgling hacker. There are hackers with a wide variety of different goals here in England. Diverse one who find who find and report security holes. Thieves who steal accounts to rob money and data. Others are as added to prove their skill. Truly a wide variety of what kind of hacker. Wide variety. What kind of hacker do you want to be? Why is my nose feeling stuffy? I hate it. Are you indeed a fledgling if that is your only response, not even hatched from your egg yet? You're free to become a hacker if you want, or something else altogether. It's up to you. What led you to this is neither here nor there. You came here because you were interested in hacking, and now because of that you got the Digimon Capture program, yes? I would therefore recommend you be of the, 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 the remarkable power of these Digimon programs a try. I go, that's fine. Now, that's fine. Now, to come at your birth as a fellow hacker to be, I shall present you with your first Digimon. They're behind you. That is your Digimon program. Which one will you pick? I am picking Terrymon. That Digimon? You want Terrymon? I want Terrymon. You seem to have made up your mind. Okay, let's bring it, bring you out of your shell. Several steps are required to obtain a Digimon. If you discover a Digimon account, discover or encounter a Digimon program, run a scan and then acquire the analyzed data. Those, those are all done with Digimon Capture. You can use that without any restrictions. But just because you got the analyzed data does not mean the Digimon program itself is yours. First, you must convert it. You must launch the Digimon program and implement, implement it in cyberspace, first and foremost. Only then can you serve as a digital monster, a hacking program that is not to be trifled with. Unlike scan, however, convert is not part of the digital capture application. We hackers finally devised a technique needed, but certain rules were put in place regarding how it's used. In order to control how this power is exercised, your chosen Digimon form is still weak, but it will grow in power and Digimon. As you can experience as hacker, your program will become more. Oh, as you gain more experience as a hacker, you will your Digimon will grow in toe. Some a immense power might be yours. When that day comes, responsibility will become al come along with it. There may be free spirits, but the must never succumb to chaos. Never that. I'm sure most of that went over your head, but tuck it away in a corner of your mind. Besides, merely have, having Digimon Capture gives you hacker status. It's a special program, but hackers' ability, value, and goals can all be seen in how well the hacker can use Digimon programs. <clears throat> because protecting the order of Eden is a hacker's first duty. I would, I would be very happy if you would try to become that kind of hacker. After all, hackers have been with Eden since its inception. You want the Digimon right now? I see, you heard what I had to say and decided you wanted to become a proud hacker too. Excellent. Uh, just give me the cute body. 
Well then, follow the steps, start with a scan, have Digimon capture running, and target a... Huh? The Digimon prepared for you one to ran uh, when and ran away. There are plenty of other Digimon well we're fine. Or uh, wait, just a moment. That did surprise me though, for a Digimon as tough as that want to appear in this area. Could have been released as a bad joke by a low-level hacker or as an attack on me by someone. What's that? You want to go after it? You want a powerful Digimon like that? No, you couldn't handle it. Forget about it. What? What's that? You're concerned about the Digimon being chased? You are a curious one. Still, that's all the more reason to leave it be. You'd look foolish if you got hurt entering in a fight between two mere programs. I have to go help. If that's what you want, then you should do a chase after it if that's your decision. I don't think we ever... Excuse me. I don't think we ever get him as like a partner that runs around with us. At least I don't recall. Oh boy, you really are new at this. Do you intend to face off against a digital monster unarmed? You truly are curious. No, you're just a soft touch, that's it. What a coincidence, I am both those things as well. Just this once, I'll allow, my, I'll allow me to aid you. You um, needn't do anything for the moment. Watch and learn, this is how a real hacker uses their skills. <laughs> Giant metal overlord, tiny bunny. <laughs> well, it seems it wants to fight with you. It may have been something of, oh, no, something of an ordeal, but that new one is now yours. Instruct it well and master the program. Hello! It is me, Terriamon! <laughs> Alright, we're finally into the fighting stage. How did it miss? How did you miss? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, yeah, I also added a mod that, uh, changes the size of the Digimon in battle, and also, uh, what's his name? To quote-unquote real scale. So, this guy is a lot bigger than he should be, and I just noticed that now, because Terrymon is only coming up to his foot. Like, if you find, a, like, a, another comparison of someone who has an off-mod of the game, I think you can tell. But I'm pretty sure he's way bigger than he should be. And that's the reason I was wondering. I'm sure he is bigger than he should. And that is what the lot does. And we'll see. Oh gosh, how is that gonna look with all the altered modes that I have? Because I have so many of those. Woo! <laughs> Oh, it's very rare to obtain a Digimon without scanning it through Digimon Capture. Much more for a program to like a person. Everything about you, this is odd. You probably, you'll probably be in a regular element among hackers. Anyway, you are free from your shell now. 
The rest is up to you. I shall take my lead. A young man with a nasty look in his eye. Ah, the other irregular one. Hmm. Him? He was headed to the area over there. Oh, that used to be the old even entrance area. The remaining Eden, the remains of Eden's creation, its forgotten dregs. Proof of that lies in the fact that an original logout zone remains there untouched. It's lock protected and can be used, but a hacker could probably deal with said lock. Yes, if he if you wanted to leave this place, it would be a good idea to use that logout zone. That be that boy should be able to unlock it in a snap as long as his skills haven't waned, that is. Why are you surprised? Don't tell me he hasn't told you. In that case, it's not my story to tell. It's better to hear it directly from him. That's right, I haven't introduced myself. No, you haven't, you rude bitch. <laughs> I'm Hugo. Hugo from the team of Zaxxon. If you want to become a top tier hacker, then should, you should seek us out. Our doors are always open to you. now. And I'm just gonna check, does he have any... Here he is. New evolution. Oh well, we can't even see it if we tried. <laughs> so forget it. But yeah, we got our new Terrymon, and I think I know... Well, actually, no, I'm gonna have to see what his evolution's like, so let's save the nicknaming for later. Of course, we have to go back and get what's his name? Actually, I want to see what I can encounter here. And also get a little bit of the percentage up anyway. And also level him up a little bit. Wait, hold on. Do I have anything to help myself if that happens? Yes, okay. I am not... Wait, the, the rule doesn't start until I get the second one anyway. So hold on. I want to see, if, just to make sure it is working. Can I not encounter Digimon? I guess it wants me to start the cutscene. Because I know there's a cutscene right after this. Where did those two go? Like, could hackers may have maybe... can talk? It's so, so, so adorable! 
My name's Nokia. What's your name? Me? My name's Agumon. I'm Gobblemon. Agumon and Gobblemon? <laughs> weird names. Hey, they're not weird. You're the one with the weird name. That's it. My name's not weird. <laughs> huh? Hmm? Huh? What's wrong? I have my toads and dwarves good look stunned you speechless? I still can't get through that sentence. I can tell some I can smell something something familiar. Wait, what? Me? Yeah, familiar and reassuring. Um what? Come on, this is kind of embarrassing. Oh, sorry. Guess my natural learning pros are working full force today. Hey, again, in other senses, I can't get out with a straight face. Uh -huh. See, you are weird. Oh, Primus, where the heck have you been? No, it's, it's another scary person. I'm sick of being chased around. Run away! <laughs> you must implore the secret technique. RUN AWAY! <laughs> hey, calm down, this is my friend. A friend of mine. Aw, oh, shucks, they're gone. Just what were those cute little critters? But never mind that, who was- who's that with you? Hi! <laughs> that's- That's a Digimon? Then those little cuties were Digimon too? But both those Digimon and this one here, they don't seem like bad programs. Digimon, huh? Having cute critters like them run like them around could be pretty okay. Maybe this Digimon capture thing won't be a so bad after all. I am I am so upset when I first played this game, and she said that line that they are cute looking broken creatures. I am upset. We never got a scene like in the Digimon movie with a. Uh, like with Ty and Kari with uh the big Greymon, the very like gigantic Greymon in the first part of the movie. We're like Agumon and Gobblemon Digivolve to I guess still you know the standard whatever the, st the standard height of a, a, a Greymon and Agumon and Garumon is, which is still pretty big if we if we're being honest. But like I thought we never got that type of scene where it's like I'm Greymon now or I'm uh Ag or uh I'm Gurumon now, something like that. I'm surprised we never got that thing, considering this sentence. And I'm upset that we never did. You you, you set it up, game, and you you let me down. You failed me. <laughs> You've been lucky this game is good in other aspects. We still get the Omnimon scene, of course, which is great. What? There was a violent Digi wild Digimon 2? Whatever it was sounds super duper scary. <sighs> Archer's in the area through there? I'll go with you. Let's go find him ASAP. Yeah, like... The thing... Oh, wrong point. The thing is with Nokia, she is annoying at just that starting point. But everything afterwards is more like fair... Fear. Like, it's like... Especially when you... Especially when you know what Digimon are capable of. Okay, so this is where we get just the standard... Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, we have to get to 100%. Oh, yay, I hit all those. Whee! Spin to win. Just keep spinning, just keep spinning. Uh, but yeah, like, considering when, what, how strong these Digimon can get, especially at champion level, I don't blame her being scared of these things. But, like, the starting points just make no sense. You asked us to be here, now you're complaining that we're here, and you get annoyed that when someone calls you out for what you are, which is a coward, again, an understandable coward, but denying it makes it worse, basically. When it's an understandable situation to be scared in, in the first place. And I think that's the thing, like, which I don't like about certain things, which usually they keep going in certain series or certain games even, where, like, the character, on some level, is understandably afraid. They just have the worst way of incorporating that into a thing that makes it annoying. 
And luckily, it's only at the start of this game. That's all it is. From here on out, she's at least eh, somewhat reasonable, I would say. Or at least somewhat understanding reasonable after this point. But far from being annoying. Annoying. Again, even her but even her starting point is not that annoying to be fair. Yeah, and this is what I mean. Here we go. Yeah, this is the other encounters. Oh dear, that's a lot. Can I hit all? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> You're all gonna die, bitch. <laughs> fear the terrier. <laughs> can I oh, oh, you know, I don't care what we're touring this thing is. Can I I hope I can spell his name correctly. Hold on. So you can't <laughs> As soon as I said that, I knew immediately what I'm gonna go for with this guy. Hold on, let me see. Uh, and I'm gonna try to make sure it's a permanent name from here on out. Here we go. Terry... Cruz. Yes, it's fixed! <laughs> there we go. Terry Cruz the Terrier Mom. Yeah! Oh, gosh. I hope now I have to... Now I have to make a Mega Gargamon, jeez. Wait, hold on, is the other Gargamon a thing? Because I know it adds various, so like, is there a... Wait, is that not right to do? Eh, uh, oh, whatever. I'm not gonna say it, but... I swear there's the, the other Gargamon, too. <clears throat> but yeah, like... Oh, what the fuck? Wow, right at the end here. I don't even know what I could get from here, because we get so many different ones. I would like a Coromon, considering, because, like I said, they added the X antibody versions of the Digimon 2, so there's an X Agumon as well. I just don't know which one is the X Agumon. They have a Gubbomon X, they have a Gurumon X, they have the X of him, so they have to have Wolverimon X and all the other Xs. Which means they have Omnimon X by default. Yeah. And potentially actually the Alters, unless that's just the other mod I added, which also added the Alter, like Alter B mode and Alter others. Hmm, something feels really strange, like this has all happened before when I was a kid. It's like I've met you and Arta before. No, not like we had met yesterday in chat or anything like that. Huh, like maybe, yeah, maybe. Something strange. Flashback. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually perfect timing. What, what was that? Did you see that? Again with the hacking. Honestly, what is with this place? Let's go, Arta should be up ahead, right? <laughs> she literally went, fuck this shit, I'm out. What was that image I just now? A child? I'm so weirded out. Darn it, I want to know what that was. Whoa, this really does not feel right. Ah, there it is. There. Hang on, hey, you're running off by yourself. You can't just think about yourself, you know. Hey, you're the one that wanted to stay back here. <laughs> I wouldn't say that if I were you. Also, is it just me, or did that middle portion change? Because I saw this when I was testing the mod. Is that circle meant to be orange? Because I'm pretty sure it was orange before, not blue. What? What is this? <laughs> menacing, 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 menacing. What's that? Is that another Digimon? Can't be. The black monster of Eden. Okay, it is blatantly more white than it is black. Okay? I would go with checkered monster, I would go with white monster. 
I would go with anything else but black at this point, because it's more that than it is anything else. Like, why is it black, monster? People have been talking about them. Oh, they say it devours your data. Oh, don't want to run the now. You guys, this way, run. Whatever this thing is, it's a real menace. That's f for sure. Hits, hits JoJo pose. Whoa. I'll break through the lock on this thing. This thing, log out, then get away as fast as you can. Ah, my neck. Oh. Ow. That hurt. A lot. Hey, I told you to run, didn't I? Go on, get out of here. Uh, oh, um. Hey! Hey, it's you guys again. We'll protect you, Nokia. Nokia, get out, out of here. Uh-oh. Here we go. Go, Terry Crews. I love that. I call it the Terry Crews. I love that. I can call it Terry Crews. Did, wait, did you just increase your attack? Pepper Brad! Oh. oh no. The thing is, this thing is in its, if I recall, this is its champion level, technically speaking. Which means it has an ultimate and a mega after this. But I don't recall what the mega is. It takes so long to actually see the mega. Please not Terry Crews. Okay. What should we do? It's too strong. Why am I so weak? We have to help Nokia and the others. I really thought they were gonna do evolve here to Greymon and not Gabumon. Or sorry, Greymon and Garurumon. Okay, the lock is taken care of. You can lock out. Come on, Nokia, hurry. But what about them? Don't you get it? You're holding them back. <laughs> Like, every time I hear someone say, you're holding them back, I just picture the scene of like, I don't know, it's just Agumon in a frick, like, someone having Agumon or Gabon having Agumon in like a, like a over the head lock, and it's like, let me at him, let me at him. That's all I can think of. They can't do anything until you get away. Huh? Primus, no kids logged out. I'll go next. You hurry on after us, okay? Whee! I'm coming to get you. Let me come on. Let me, let me touch your toes. Find us? Who the frick is us? Hmm. Run by Kishimir Enterprise. Um, excuse me, isn't that str oh wait. Um, excuse me? Isn't that strange? Walking businesswoman. I'm sorry. There's only one guy here with a suit on. I hate to break it to you. What's up with that kid? Yikes. You there! What's with the making such a scene in broad daylight? You want me to arrest you, do you? Um, officer over here. Who are you calling police officer? I'm a detective. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'll arrest you. What? Huh? What's... 
What the? What is that? What's going on? Erg, that's gross. So gross, I'm gonna arrest you right here on the spot. What the fuck? You can't arrest someone for ugly looks. Pretty sure that will wipe out at least 40% or 50 or, you know, a lot of the percentage of the population. I'm sorry. Hello there. <laughs> you have an interesting appearance. I'm very curious. Handle it before it goes gets worse. I feel like I missed something there. I feel like I did. I'm more used to strange morale than the most. But I've never seen the likes of this before. Can you hear my voice? Are you able to speak? That's good. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was gonna do if you weren't human. I see you. I see. So you have no idea what is that. What is what it is that happened to you? I feel like that sentence is wrong. If you have questions, ask them now. I'll answer whatever I can. Where is this place? You're in Shinjuku. I was out working looking for some and when I came across you here. You might not believe that, but it's the truth. I'm headed to my agency office in Nakano. You can tell me the details when we get there. It looks like your body is in an extreme digital state, as if it were a cyberspace avatar, yet somehow here in the real world. That's... <clears throat> That's true. Then it, then, th then, uh, then this is very interesting phenomenon. Hmm. Where are my friends? No, there wasn't anyone else around. Just you. You're probably wondering whether the, the same thing have, might have happened to your friends. I see. I can't tell you to not worry about them, but your first priority should be taking care of yourself. Who are you? Who am I? Ah, I haven't introduced myself yet. I should have done that earlier, but you were such a curiosity, it completely slipped my mind. Sorry. I'm Kyoko Kuryum. Kuryum. I'm just a humble detective. <laughs> That's similar to, like, the name Saitama. I'm just a hero for fun. Yeah, okay. Huh, ah, I forgot that's how quickly the uh, prologue chapter ends. Ah, my... I am itchy. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah. <sighs> Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to click that. Yeah, I can have it. Okay. I see. You've got a good, a good grasp on the situation. I actually have a terrible grasp on the situation. That place in Shinjuku, the one where you appeared when you walked out from cyberspace. It's the same or very similar to the place you logged in to at Eden at, isn't it? Hmm. Well, we're, we're you're here talking to me now, but it seems there's another body out there for you as well. Maybe your material data was separated from your physical body and manifested in the real world independently. Or maybe your body was somehow moved in moved to Shinjuku, where it was corrupted into the form into the form you have now. Well. The whole entire the whole situation is entirely too peculiar. Yet here you are, standing 
Revolt. Jeez. What the fuck? Demon's coming out. Me. As much as that shouldn't be makes sense. At present, I can only form a simple hypothesis. We need to gather more information quickly. Going to buy the book, you should check out where you're logged into Eden, which was where. Why are you helping me? And where are you now? You are at a at the Kur Kurimi Detective Agency, which has sold number has solved a number of rather bizarre cases, including cyber crimes. I can think of nobody better suited to solve the mystery of what happened to you than right here. And you're even sitting on the sofa for clients. No need to worry about compensation. Your very existence is all the payment I need. Let's pretend you ordered a luxury liner, say, the Mar Mary Celestia. I don't know what that is! Any, any of my Japanese people that live well, in Japan, know what the frick that is? Like, I don't. Do I even have Japanese viewers? No, they are. <laughs> anyway, let, let's get back, back on track here. Where did you log in? But first, before we do anything else, we must, we must do something about your appearance. You can't even walk around outside like that, and it's... And it, and it looks pretty unstable as well. Yes? What? It'll be a few hours. We're good. I've had a good look and you're- you are tr Okay, is my thing slightly tilted? There we go. I've had a good look and you are truly a mass of data, a true digital body. If you hear my voice, sit on my sofa, talk to me, proof that you obey physical laws. In a body with real world characters, let's call it a half cyber body. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun with this, even though I have no idea if I can pee, eat, or need sleep, so. Actually, that's a fair question. Do I ever sleep in this game? Huh. If your body is compromised of data, then it could be easy to do something about your appearance. Incorporate comp. Yeah, and make repairs. You should have the same basic structure as an avatar used within Eden. It would be ex it would be excellent if there were avatar parts in the, in the data found lying around in Kaluvan. The only issue is whether or not you can log in log in in your current state. I feel like that should be one word. What is it? Did something happen with the television? Over here, jump. Jump? To be fair, I don't technically jump. I just like pull my hand out and get sucked in. It's more like a suck, not a jump. Hello there. Hey, Guru. Glad you could join us on their digi lock journey here. Ur urged on by the voice, I took a leap of faith, but what the heck happened? Looks like I can go for it after all. Okay, let's continue on. Come on, Terry Cruz! We're going on an adventure. I'm surprised I'm not encountering a lot of Digimon in here. And luckily, this count is an area I can go back to later to get. Terrier Tornado! Whee! Woo! Why is there a line in the middle of his body? Is that just me? I'm not going crazy, am I? I won't say I would believe it if I was. I knew I would one day go crazy. I'm just kidding. Crazy? I was crazy, Ron. It locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. Because rats would me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy, Ron. They locked me in a room. Rubber room. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Well, at least these things are easy to kill. I don't think I've gotten 100% on any of these guys yet. Keyword get.
Also, I will warn, I just registered this now. I will warn everyone, because of the, some of the mod I installed, some of the people, I don't know, some wacky shit happens, unfortunately. Like, you'll see with one of the, like, the baby Digimon, like, they try to use, uh, the bubble attack, and they just, like, if I were to describe it, it looks like they slip out of banana peel and just float upwards, like, they, they're made of helium. <laughs> you'll see it, hopefully. The, ex the exit, it's gone. I guess I can't go back that the way I came. Is this Eden? This is Kyoko. Oh, cur me. Can you hear me? Dear gosh. I nearly lost you, but I managed to get a trace. What the heck happened? It looked like you were sucked into the terminal and just disappeared. I see I'm guessing you pass through the actual network lines themselves. The office terminal is connected to Eden's network. Ugh, the rod... Uh, sorry, I farted. The rod, the flow within... You... Oh, sorry. You rode the flow within the wires and data appeared in Eden. So then if you were, the network appeared... Then if you... So then, for you, the network appears to... As an actual road... A series of roads. Still, it's shocking to see you make such a direct transition from the world to the digital one. To submerge in the digital world just by touching the terminal, I dive, no, a jump. From now on, I'm going to call that ability your yours a connection jump. Again, it's more me just getting sucked in, but okay. What a happy little unexpected accident. Now you can go look around for your avatar bot part. Power data. It's a clue. There's plenty of junk data lying around in Cologne. It should be easy to find what you need. And this is where we should get access to the ability to devolve stuff, right? Right? This way, come on. Guess I should go in the direction of that noise. Yes, for all the weird voices. It's as if you learned nothing from your past experiences of this entire thing. Ah, so you can hear my voice. Welcome to the digital world, Digilab. This place has a faint connection with the digital world, a paradise for Digimon. I am Mary Mikagar Mikagaru. Mikagaru. I open this paradise onto you. Digital world? It's okay if you don't know about it, for now at least. When the time comes, I expect you will know what you need to know. The Digital Monsters Laboratory, you could call it the D- the DML, for short, I suppose. I reckon I'm calling it the Digimon Lab, though. My beard. I called you? No, that's not quite it. It was you who called me. You are beginning to develop a deep connection with Digimon. Our strings of fate intertwined and drew me in, and so I found you. In other words, it was you who called me out to me. But that's enough of that for now. First off, what kind of place is this? Go and check it out with your own eyes. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, yeah, is first off, heal. I know I need to do that. Check out the fighting arena real quick, because I think I need to check everything out, basically. Farm, yeah. Luckily, I don't need to fully check this out, I don't think, at least. Farm goods? I don't think I have anything. Nope. Nothing. Yeah, we're good. Okay, here. Yeah, I want to see what can he digivolve into. So these two are obvious, so this is obvious, this is... Wait, why is there two Gargamons? I'm assuming that's his first Gargamon, what's this? Oh, Destiny, okay, so this is the Golden Armor Evolution, I already know that, Destiny Egg of Destiny. 
with Digi Egg of Destiny. Destiny Egg of Destiny. <laughs> it sounds like one of those gags or some shit. Okay, good to know. And I can't de digivolve him because I don't have either one, which I don't want to anyway. But he doesn't seem to have anything crazy new, as far as I'm concerned. I wait, hold on. Do I have somebody? No, I have nobody. I'm about to get Korum on. Well, let me go and get. Let's get. So, you know, let's make it an even twenty. Let's get about five of these. This would be good as well. Hopefully. <laughs> Uh, do I have anything to sell? No, not really. Not yet, at least. Alright. Well, let's catch our second Digimon. Can I... Please? Thank you. Uh, I hope I get that, uh, that cat Digimon, because I think that's the evolution that will give me... the one from the... what's-his-name movie? Like, I forget. It's the one where, like... The first group of either that I'll get a what? What is it? What is the movie? It's the one with the cat and Alpha Mon. That one, like that movie. I forget its name, but it's that one. I I think that's where it goes. I hope I get it. Come on, give me the Digimon. I'll be fine with either any of these little guys, but I would prefer the other thing. Come on, Terry Crews, you can do it. <laughs> oh, because I just said one dumb thing, and then I was like, yeah, no, I don't look. Let's just go with it. We're calling this thing Terry from here on out. <laughs> I just love that it fit, like the entire name fit. Ah, okay, well, that still works. Woohoo! Thank you for the Digimon. Now, we can go back, so I can't get another Digimon from this, unfortunately. But, it's still good that I have one. <laughs> I'm curious to see what this... I mean, I know what, it, what its rookie evolution is, obviously, but... I do not know whatever other evolutions it could have. Unless... Yeah, I can turn it all into Terramon or Pokemon. Wait, doesn't this thing also default off of stuff? And I guess it would be good just to have either or. I guess I can see. Yep, I understand. Come on. I don't know what to call you yet, but... We're just gonna have you in the back corner a little bit. I can't get anyone else, but I can definitely use them for training purposes, so that's good. And hell, heck, it will be faster now because I have this little guy. Oh, I still need to go to the thing where I can get this. Ah, oh, damn it! I wanted him! The one with the binky! I wanted the little guy with the binky! Damn it! Because I, I forgot to get him this early! I could have gotten Gobblemon X! <laughs> I know them. I could have. I know them. I know the perfect day for him. Damn it. Shit. I couldn't go Gobblemon X. I could have gotten any freaking. Anyone. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. These guys all attack first now. This is bad. I mean, I guess well, one of them will survive the Terror Tornado, I don't think. And even if they do, they don't do enough, which is good. Terror Tornado! Terry Tornado. Oh, wow, two of them survived. Well, oh, damn. You definitely gonna need a heal after this. Please do not get a crit. 
because now it counts. This death count. Oh, damn. There we go. I'm okay. Ow. I didn't think these two would survive, I'm gonna honest with you. And then again, I guess they're... Well, no. I don't know, wait. Hmm. How the heck are you still alive? Like, how? What level are you two? <laughs> or how strong are you, I guess I should ask. There you go, max level. Wait, is, is Coco Mod already? I think it is. Wait, do we get access to its... Like, its champion level? The... The thing from the first movie as well? So we'll see, but let's first see what... What can you Digivolve into? What's that? Oh, right, yeah, it's bright. At first of all, I thought it was orange. I was like, why is it orange all of a sudden? Gummy mom. Oh yeah, this one can evolve. Oh yeah, it can evolve into the TV guys. I forgot about that. Um, and also two other odd ones that I'm not quite sure about. Uh, let's just go... Just go back to Kokomon. And just see what that line turns into before we make a choice. And luckily it only takes two fights, so it should be easy. Let's see what we got here. There you go, they're both dead. So many turns. What? Douchebags. I think this would kill them. Yes. Okay, thank goodness. Yeah, let's go back. Cause I ain't taking chances here. We're in the death zone now. Okay, you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, yep. Perp. Now, let's see. Come on. Yeah. Oh yeah, she does have some. Oh, he has this little guy from Frontier. I know what that little guy is. Um. I mean, you would be, because I think I know where you, I think I know where you would be. Uh, 
Ah well. I think it's enough training over here anyway. At least it should be. Let's go and get a coral mon now. Because I'm assuming that's what I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm just preparing myself for that. I still don't know what to call you, now that I think about it. Hmm. Ah, well, if I'm going... Because it depends on what you did evolve with the other guy, but... Uh, okay, let's go with the... How about... I mean, either way, you turn into, like, a dragon of some kind. Hmm. Let's just go with this. Shen Rod. Considering the evolution route I'm taking. There we go. Do you understand the Digivolve? Use it carefully to further your interaction with Digimon. Let me see if you're the person I thought you might be. Finally, one last thing, a small token for you. You got hacking skills. Oh, she gives you it. Hacking skills shine in combination with Digimon use, but are dangerous if used for unscrupulous hacking purposes. Are you, you if how you use your skills is up to you. Never forget that. You can depend depend your uh, deepen you can deepen your special ties with Digimon. Live with them, share their joys and sadness and grow together. By depending your by deepening your bond with your Digimon, they'll surely offer you their aid. It is very important it's a it is a very important ability, it will even change your life. Connection jump, that's what you call it. Your skill? I know nothing of this power. It's like a hacking skill, but, well, different. But I'm certain it's a skill that will serve you in in, in a unique way. Well, I'll see you later. Take care. Yep, let's go to Kalu, get another Digimon, and also get some new... Come on, Terry. Let's go. Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, even though I'm not... Hello? Is everything okay? Somebody just asked that. You guys hear me? Hold on. Hello? Hello? Can you guys hear the game? Pretty sure. Okay, well as long as you can hear me and the game, we're fine. So, one hack? Oh, my nose. Oh, my nose. Ditches. Ditches so much. Okay. Let's keep going. Come on, Terry. We're here. We're going to conquer the world. Imagine if that was the course of, of a freaking storyline that you actually are the villain of the Digimon story. It's me. Ooh, I finally got through to you. I lost your trace info and had to search again. Where did you wander up this time? I see you. So you ran into Miri Mekagaro. Yeah, you could say we are acquainted. Regardless, for there to have been a natural progression where you would meet her, you seem to have the craziest luck. Let's assume you carried out your original objective. We'll start by what? You've already broken through the firewall? Well done. Well done, you have you've saved me some time. <laughs> Alright, on to the next move. I scanned the area around the entrance to Kaloon and marked key junk sites. Data sites. Data. <laughs> oh, jeez. Junk data will serve as your body part. Need to go find and retrieve. Oh, sorry. Oh, gosh, I needed that. It's something I, of, of a stopgap measure, and it may not be perfect a perfect solution, but I'm sure your skills are up to the task. This is a key step to bring your body to normal, so buck up and get to work. It's okay, searching for body parts isn't a fun. 
as hard as de defeating 40 demons now, is it? Think of it as an emergency measure. I look forward to meeting you in your normal body. I feel like that's a reference to something, and I don't get it. Like, is that a movie reference? Is that a book reference? 48 Demons? Like, what is that? I feel like that's a reference, even though it would be an obscure one, to the Buddha? Not the Buddha. The... Like, the... 48 Gods of Indy, like, something like that? I don't know. It just sounds like an odd reference to something, and I just don't know what it is. Oh yeah, we get, like, special encounters here, don't we? Do these little things. Or not, I guess they're just the same as before. Well, we got him! Now, the question is, do we go back and go and get him, or...? Actually, yeah, that's probably a smart move. It's just so he levels up in the background, too. Wait, did... what's his name level up? It didn't look like... no, it... Shenron did not level up. I can't think of a name for... He's gonna be like a dragon thing, but like, I don't know. Wait, should I, like... Hmm. I guess that would be fun. I mean, it'll also be extra time investment. Let's do this. Just Terry. Um, let's name you. I want to name you something else. Uh, okay. And now Shenron will do. Even though it'll be weird to call this thing Shenron for a little bit, we'll work out. It'll work out. I just go back and get. Horamon, and I already know what to name him. Because I... Well, no, if he has the X version of himself, I should name him something else. But who is the question? What is the question? Hmm. Hmm. Well, he uses a lot of... weapons. And while it doesn't make sense for... Actually, wait, no, he still used... He got the weapons. Literally in the first game of his return, so it's not technically count. But I guess you could say it's kind of like them. Not of course one point. Ah, that again. Well, no, the other it doesn't make any sense either. Like those are those are clearly Japanese, like a not Japanese sword, like different type of sword. You guys will get what I'm saying as soon as I nickname this guy. You will understand what the fuck crazy shit I'm talking about. Come on, Coromon. Now the question is, let me just check this out. Not you. So, Agumon... Oh, I can get a Gilmon. Nice. And a Shoutmon. Huh, wait, if I'm going that route instead, actually... It would be... Hmm. Okay, I will digivolve him to Agumon just to see something. Because that's not Agumon X. I can already tell that is not an Agumon X. But there might be a Greymon X. I don't know. Because Agumon does have an X version, but I don't know. Because hmm. I want that version in particular, the X version of this Digimon. So he's going to stay a little bit unnamed for now. Oh, right. We're gonna swap him. Because unfortunately, these guys are low, too low a level. So they're gonna be in the back- they're gonna be in the back corner a little bit. Don't worry, children. I feel like, in my head, when we're doing that, we're not actually putting those little ones in, like... You know, whatever storage facility we put them in. Like, I don't know what- where we put them when we, you know, put them in, like, the back of the party. Um, but I imagine for the, like, the little baby ones, they're just in the baby carriers, or something. Like, Koromon's in the back, with the little Kokomon's in the front, that's what I imagine. <laughs> they're just carrying them like children. Because they are, they're babies, they're literal babies. 
which is kind of sad because, well, actually, I was going to say it's kind of sad because that means technically Terramon's a toddler, but then I realized, like, no, the, like, very first stage is, like, a baby, the second stage is, like, a toddler, this is a child, basically, but, like, can also be a teenager considering champion, like, even, I think, in some translations... Or like descriptions of the champion levels, they're described as uh, adults. So like champion is adult. So like you could say, then again, I guess an 18 year old could also be an adult. So like 18 or like very well on adult. Ultimate is like 30s or or something like that. And mega is technically you're in your prime, rhyme or basically you're getting to your 50s. So like 40s to 50s with that one. I know that, okay, the last two are not confirmed, but, like, the champion is often referred, the champion level is often referred to as, like, the adult, like, it's the adult version, <laughs> which is funny. Actually, now that I think about it, let me just, I thought about what I was doing, and I decided against it because it would take too much time, and it's just funnier just to see the full name looking around with some of these characters. Cruise. There we go. My first Digimon is Terry Cruz. Wait, dude, what? I just realized there's also a rule about getting the same Digimon again. But technically, I never caught this version of them. I caught the baby, not the other one. So it technically doesn't count. It is a new version of a Digimon. And considering the routes these things can take, it's like technically a new Digimon anyway. So I'm not going to apply the, oh, it's a duplicate rule, because you can literally go in various directions with these little guys. So, I'm not going to say that it's, uh... Okay, so they're level 3. Let me heal you. There we go. I am not taking any chances with these little guys. Okay. Ew. Oh yeah, this is where it's teaching up the super effectiveness. Let me see. Electric, fire, do the plant. Okay, so it's not grass, it's a plant, but I call it grass. Mm. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. You bitch. Okay, two of them are dead. We're good. So, I think, at least I think. Yeah, we're good. Okay. This will be some good XP, though. Come on, Terry. You can do it. <laughs> Come on, Terry. Come on, Terry. I feel like... <laughs> I love how... Like, this all started because of a dumb thing. It's like... All I said was like... Terry Tornado or some shit, it's like, you know what, I'm naming it this little guy Terry Cruz now. There's no stopping me at this point. <laughs> oh, wait, you can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Are they strong enough to fight on their own? Actually, wait, wait, wait. wait how did he... Oh, right, those things basically get you back to full health. Never mind, we're good. Okay. And I think then there's another part this way. Actually, let's do a quick... Actually, no, this is a tutorial, so... Let's just... It's weird how I hold out my hand and touch something and then it turns on. It's just weird. What in the fuck? Okay. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Look at, look at that little thing to the left. Uh, not the binky one, the one next to the, the binky. That, the thing that's still standing. What is that thing? It's like a little, it's like a thorn. I don't even know, like a thorn ball. That's, that's all it is. 
I mean, it's dead. I didn't even think these would change with the Digimon. I just thought they... I mean, they should be high enough HP. I think I'm gonna wait until they're like rookies. In order to, until they pop out. Come on and fight. Well, then again. Let me see. Yeah, I guess they're not much further behind than he is. Oh, someone followed. Uh, Winter Mongol. Followed. Nice. That's good. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Uh... Wait, is that... Yeah, Winter Mon... Mono... I cannot say that. <laughs> I cannot say that to save my life. But thank you for the follow. I don't know why your thing didn't pop up, though. I swear I put it up to the front, did I not? Eh, I'll fix it later. Uh, I'm just happy I got this thing to work, so... Come on. <laughs> just seeing Coromon jump around and just like, eh, eh, eh. Just do that over and over again, it's funny. Okay, here we go. S... S... SP... Capsule C? Oh, what's wrong with my nose today? Oh! I just realized something. I started watching Yu Yu Hakusho for the first time. It starts out weird! It's gonna be with you. It's a weird start to an anime, but I'm liking it so far. It's interesting. Just a weird ass start to things. My word, ain't. And then we just get this. Oh, this is where we learn about team ups and stuff like that. Oh, the, yeah, the calm decides that. Wee! Well, they're dead. <laughs> we never got to see the team up, we just know that it's a thing. I got my body back. Oh, oh. Hmm, you at least look normal again. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a big step. The objective has been met. Come back to the agency. What the? What's that? You don't know how to get back? Hmm, try logging out like you always do. Since you went in through an agency terminal, I'm my guess is that you that you should come out there through one too. But to be honest, in your case, I don't know what will happen until we try. In the worst case, if your data gets scattered through the network, I'll sabotage as much as I can. <laughs> I'm joking, sort of. Gee, thanks. You are a big help, aren't you? You are just a ray of sunshine, aren't you? So wait, hold on, let me just double check this. So he's 19... One per wow, they're all 1%. Okay, well... Well... Might as well have this along the way to level these guys up, both in calm and in actual level. So let's go and do that. Oh, oh geez, oh no. Yeah, this little guy glitched out, looks like it. So unfortunately, he's just gigantic for some reason. <laughs> Look at that! He's huge! There you go. Well, you gotta kill. Just put this poor thing out of its misery. There we go. Please tell me this is what's gonna happen if I get this little guy at some point. There we go. Got to look at this shit. What in the fuck? She's <laughs> so funny. I didn't think it would glitch out there. I thought it only glitched out in the, like, the Digivolution screen. No, it's actually just that big for some reason. Why? What happened? Wow. Wow. 
Okay, here we go. We have not get, gotten Botamon yet, which is interesting. The little baby version of uh, Coromon and all that. That's interesting. That's odd. I thought we would have gotten, gotten him by now. Hmm. Weird. Moving on. How bad. Oh shit, I clicked the wrong button. Sorry. My hand slipped. I'm so glad I looked down. I was like, huh? It's like, why is my face on here? Oh, that's why. <laughs> that is why. <laughs> in my way downtown, walking from I'm down. Okay, here we go. We're almost there. Jeez. Ah, right as we're about to leave. Oh, you can get all of them! Okay. I thought you could only get, uh, Terramons. Like, the Digivision before Terramon. Guess not. Bubbles. <laughs> the, the game can't process the, his attack. XP right here. Let's see. 22, 4, 4. Wow. That is very little. Damn. I thought we were going to be able to see the evolution more. Wait, don't I have. Hmm. Hmm. No, because I haven't talked to the that lady yet. No, so I don't have access to that yet. Or I don't have it yet, I should say. But I could buy it, but I definitely don't have enough money for it. Damn it. Hey, Will! Moving on. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Although we should be close, at least for the other one, for the Coco. Or not. Ah, uh, but we are close. I'm just curious what this is down here, because, wait, so, HP and speed, HP and attack, and it has to be, and they're both above 40, huh? Hmm, huh. curious. Well, let's get Shenron into his rookie stage, at least, because I think we can do that. At least get him very close. There we go. Okay, let's try to get all three to rookies. I know Terramon's close to champion, but... Hey! 
Actually, wait. No, damn it. I want to go back. Because we already know what we're going to test out with... Uh, what's his name? I just want to... I can't... Because I don't think... Can I... Oh, no, I can! Ooh, and the Gilmon, too. Ooh, wait. Do I want... Do I want an Agumon? Or do I want a Gilmon? I mean, this gets me a Gilmon. But then again, it doesn't give me... There's a few options with the Gilmon. It's not one for one the same guy, what I'm thinking of. But it's it is closer. Also, I clearly encountered a Bodom before. Um uh, hmm. You know what? No. We can always go back if we Dang, damn it, stop clicking. No. And I've screwed this up. Uh, transition. Okay. I'm gonna fix that later. Okay. Yes, I want to be digital this. Just because I want to get more. What's his naming? ABI, so it's easier to digital him later. And that goes for you as well. Yeah, actually, I have not seen or checked out their personalities yet. Let me check that out. Hold on. So, you're durable, so your defense would just snatch. So you're, you will increase other demons' defenses, so I put you in the form. You're also durable, and you're just fast. Damn. That's, that's terrifying. Okay, so let's put these guys in the corner for now. Train them up a little bit. Okay. Now he should be able to defeat a lot of these guys, actually. He'll be a lot stronger. Yeah, as I thought. Yeah, probably should the mouse in the middle here. There we go. Level 4. But I need level 5. This should give me enough XP. Then to be level 5. The keyword should. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's not where I want to go. <laughs> almost, I almost just left. It's like, Mark, what do you Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, fuck. This is where... I, I, I know what this is. This is for... Freaking... The X Gobblemon. Oh. And these are just all going with goggles. Damn it. Why do you tempt me so? Oh, uh, well, Coromon it is. 
Oh, I didn't. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, wait, no. I didn't mean to do that because there's no way I can do this. Yep, there we go. Now his ABI is a bit higher. You, I can digivolve. I just start getting you up. And then you can help me with this bloody grind session. This brief little grinding here. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, so now is her, or he's, oh, whatever. Their ABI is a bit higher. That should be good. I'm gonna have to do that a lot, to be honest. Well, wait, then I just registered something. If, what's his name is the... Like, if I have Shalfmon, and I clearly have the other ones too, because like... I've seen, uh... What's his name? I've seen, uh... What you call it? The... The plane thing, and of course the TV guys from Cross Wharf. I've seen, like, uh, the bird-like Digimon from... That fuses the Greymon from Cross Wharf. Is the Lion and the Beetle... Does it make it against Shoutmon X? And also, can I get the Stormon too? I feel like that's a lot of fusing together, but still, I feel like that would be cool if it could. There's a lot of fusing Digimon together, but that would be cool. Don't know what the fuck to call it if I did get it. Wait, can I get the other Beelzemon? Like the one with armor, not the one with the jacket? Can I get him? Now that I think about it? Uh, hmm, I wonder. Also, can I get the champion version of it, too? Now that I think about that, too? I mean, I should, realistically, right? Or should be able to. Okay, let me get... Hold on. Ah, uh, wait, 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 let's do one more. Get that guy to level 5. So when we did do one, we can just immediately skip him straight to level 5 as well. Because we have a lot of people we can... Convert now. Ah, damn it! How durable is some of these little guys? Specifically, these guys too. There we go, level five. Now, if we go back, did you evolve him? Yes. Leave the dungeon. And Digivolve... Uh, not Shadow. You into this. Let's see. There you go. There's a little guy. Alright. No. Oh, wait. Damn it. Not, not, not that. Then did you convert? This. He's level three now. So now if I ah oh, damn, I forgot to heal. Now we use this then. Sorry, when already went in. This little guy should be good. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I could have done this. This is my time. So to make it easier on myself. Here we go. There. Right. Yep. 
should do more damage. Yes. Yes, it does. For some reason, that Terra Tornado doesn't do a lot to this guy. Which I find weird. It's just funny looking down and just seeing, like, Terriamon and Shenron <laughs> just fighting together. That's the weirdest combination. Eh, probably not the weirdest, now that I think about it. Okay. Now, if I go here, 28, 5, 4. Jeez, how many battles do these guys need in order to Digivolve? Hmm. All the other two are just calm, and then the Gilmon's one is like, boing, boing, boing. <laughs> just bouncing over there. There we go. Hey, we got a Bodomon again. This should be enough to defeat them. laid out like oh. like that's it just got laid the fuck out like bunk. uh yeah also that was the cat thing i wanted to try to get but unfortunately eh, we probably could get it again we'll see uh how close am i to okay so we got a few 100s now so i probably should go back and actually use those guys to level these guys up well, actually, it won't matter if, um, what's his name? Isn't, he doesn't have 10%, so might as well just go until that's at least that high. We have a, we've had a few battles now, so he should be a little bit higher. Let me see. Uh, t Terry Cruz, 32, 9, 8, yeah, okay, so about two more battles will do it. I don't know how exactly Calm is increased, I probably should have read that a bit more. But like, I'm pretty sure it's like, each battle you get like, one Calm. Unless it depends on like, the like the level of the Digimon, like, champions give like, more, ultimates give more, I don't know. There we go. This is just a perfect combination with Terriermon. Because you always need one Digimon that just hits everybody. That's good no matter what. And if you can get a champion level that can do that, you're, you're basically set. It just depends on, I guess, the champion at that point. Like Greymon, he's... Like Geo Greymon, that's perfect. I think he's one of the best with... Why am I clicking this? Let me see. Okay, yeah, it's one every battle looks like it. Like, you get one, and I think it's just for this level. And that's why you get it. There we go. All of them are taken care of. Actually, you know what? Because I'm curious about Shopmon, I'm going to click Shopmon. Also, is it just me, or does Shopmon's level up look more reasonable than it did originally? Because I swear that was, um... It was harder to get shot on before, like, you need a lot, because he's technically a higher level than he should be. Technically, because they don't give him a level, like, he's not called Rookie or anything. He's just given certain stuff. Let me see. Oh, we can Digivolve you. 
I'm curious what this is though. But I want this. We, we'll figure it out. We're gonna do so many of these probably in the future, so we'll figure it out. Probably we good. Yeah, there he is. The samurai dinosaur. <gasps> yes! Oh, wait. Oh, dang. I need to leave this before I can do that. Okay, hold on. We'll check that out later. So, level 8. What did... Okay, you need to level up. Okay, so you will be an interesting... You'll be the first one. Let's see. Let's see. Wow, his model looks better, too. Yeah, see, like, he doesn't have... See, underneath the type, like, free type, there's no rookie. Like, it doesn't say rookie underneath the name. Oh, okay, so you do get access to... Oh, wait, so he's just the evolutionary line? Like, that's just his evolutionary line. We probably do get them separately, but, like, his... Double fusion is his champion. His triple fusion is his ultimate. And I guess him with the sword is his, um... This we'll have to see, but, like, that would be his Mega then, right? And his Ultra would be, I'm assuming, like, his Omega version or something like that. But okay. Yep, we're definitely going this route instead. If I just also realized something. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Okay. Yeah, I need this. Terry Curry is trying to lock you. Samurai... Jack. Yeah, that's it. I know his first name is not Samurai Jack, but now we know. Uh, but that's good. Ah, uh, Shoutmon. What would be a good name for Shoutmon? Shoutmon. Especially with what we're going for. Um. Oh, uh, wait. What's that cartoon show? With the guy who finds a, like, super-powered robot and attaches his car to it? And then that's a giant fighting robot. Like, it seems like it's literally like, girls like giant fighting robot. Like that. Like, that's the theme song. I forget the name of the, like, the, of the character and the freaking robot, but I don't, I want to call him that, but I don't remember. Then again... Wait, hold on. I do have another name for it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to name him after like the first stage of the of the Gur of Gurren Lagann, the first ever robot. Like the, the like just the head of. Hmm. Images. Yeah, like the very first. I know this is Tengen Topa, but where's the. Uh. Head. Let me search up that, I guess. I guess that's the closest. Not need head. Head. Here we go. This is like what I'm looking for. What the heck is his name? Or its name? Okay, so it's just called Lagon. Okay. So La on. <laughs> we have Samurai Jack, Terry Cruz, and Lagon. <laughs> Gosh, what is the team we're gathering up here? What the hell? Okay, da -da. okay, and we got a few of these guys, so this should work. 
And then I have to just like go up from there, like to the point where I have to say like, what is it called? The final form where he turns into like basically a galaxy or some shit, like an energy version of it. I forget the name. It's like, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, let's get you two. Yeah, let's give you three each. Just to get you to level 5. All of you to level 5. There we go. Come on, Samurai Jack. What is the universe one called? I forget. Because it's not... Because Tengen Torpa is just when he's, like, fighting the Anti-Spyro, like, for the first time. Like, that's the first form. Well, tech, quote-unquote, first form. But, like, his final, final form. Like, the gigantic galaxy version. I forget what it's called. Is it also... Is that just called Galaxy Tango Topa? Is that just it? Is it just give... <laughs> Do they just give up after that? It's like, you know what? It's just Galaxy Tango Topa. Like, that's it. We'll do it. Okay. Yeah, let's get these... ...guys to what I think they should be. Also, let me... There you go. Also, we get to see what these guys' attacks can do. Katana attack? <laughs> he shoots out a katana for his mouth! Yeah? Um, excuse me, son of a bitch. Fire, fiery fireball. Okay, that's good. Okay. So, I need to remember this. So, 14 is what we need to get for to shout Mon. Also, I think they're all appropriate levels by this point. Yeah, 5, 6, 13, one's ahead, but you'll do all at some point. Anyway, we're, so we're done here with the training, with the brief little bit of training. Next is... Da, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Just to show the stream, to the new viewers. Hi, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get this. I've added a few mods that added a few digivolutions, and I think this one is the... Times two? Shoutmon times two, I think that's what it's called. I forget what the times are, but yeah, that's what you have. We're trying to get and we're also trying to figure out what the hell this is. Because we know it's a Terrier Mom, but I it's different from this one. It's not this version, whatever the main version is. It's not the main. It's a different one. And I'm curious what it is. This one's the Age of Miracles, I know that, so that's interesting. Uh Samurai Jack, actually wait, let me see. Is anything new with you? So you have this, you have that. Okay, you're new. Whatever you are, you are new. So I'm curious what the heck you are. I think he's new at least. I it's been so long, so I don't remember what Digimon's new, what Digimon's modded. So this will be an interesting experiment for everybody involved. <laughs> Look at Terry Mon! <laughs> wow, Terry Mon. Is there from the bottom down here? No, he's the shortest one in the group. <laughs> Look at him! He's so tiny compared to all the others. Actually, they do go in sizes, like, he's small, he's medium, and he's big. He's the biggest one here. Alright, we're, we're going to leave here. Let's do that. Okay, so, log out, please? That's where I need to go? Yes. And then we can start the cutscene. Also, hi, new viewers. Welcome to the crazy world of this live stream. I hope you're enjoying yourselves and your day, and I hope you had a Merry Christmas and Boxing Day. I hope you punched a lot of people in the store. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. You made it back in one piece, didn't you? I wouldn't have expected anything different. Still, those abilities border on the unreal. Maybe the reason you still adhere to physical laws it has to do with an in instinctual fear present in all physical organisms. <laughs> this is all truly fascinating. Par pardon me, Kyo-chan. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is the old guy. There... Ah, oh, there you go again. Sneak up, sneak up on me, old man. Oops, sorry. I didn't get... I did it again. Clumsy me. And could you stop calling... Could you stop calling me Kyo-chan? It's embarrassing. That's... That was a childhood nickname. Not go... What happened, my dear? You'll always be Kyo-chan to me. 
No matter how old you get, or how brilliant of a day you become. <laughs> how long have you been there? What have you heard? I just got here. Is something wrong? Hello there. <laughs> oh, you have a client. Sorry, sorry. We're just. Were you going over a case? No, this is, well, a client of sorts, though I. though a somewhat unconventional. Of, of someone of a conventional nature. Oh, just who are you then? I'm an assistant detective. Let me introduce you. This is Detective Ma Ma Mata Mata Yoshima. He's an, an old friend from when my father ran the agency, and I trust him completely. The most elite detective the force has on cybercrime. Yeah, why does his pockets work? This is a weird tight side tangent. His pockets actually function like pockets, but not uh, Arto's ones. Like he, his one looks like he's shoving it into his character model, but his one looks like he's actually shoving it into pockets. Looks are deceiving. You, you were thinking. Well, I suppose I don't exactly fit to the mold, but if I did, I'd never be able to tag along with the shadier element. Whoops! I slip. I slip on the tongue. <laughs> so is this? So, so, is there something afoot? If it's a case, is it a... Oh, wait, this is not him. So, it, so... So, is there something afoot? If if it's a case, is sit on the sofa and wait a bit. I'll just whip up some tasty coffee. No, thank you! There's no case today. No need for coffee. My heart just stopped for a minute. Oh. <laughs> I heard a rumor about Eden Syndrome. I thought, thought you might be interested. Okay, chat. Let's hear it then. <laughs> St um. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> No need to worry about my assistant, old man. This is someone with a rather special connection with Eden. My assistant has the potential to become something of a specialist in the field. Let's hear what you have to say. I see. If you can vouch for your assistant, that's fine. The rumor concerns the special war ward in the hospital where the they are isolating the Eden Syndrome patients. Oh, do I need to explain what Eden Syndrome is? So it's... So, it is to your future specialist? Please do. It's a rare condition where Eden, you suddenly lose con lose consciousness and are unable to wake up. We were, we see more and, and more patients with each year, but the cause uh, symptoms and treatment remain a mystery. My brain just stopped then for a minute. I'm going to be real with you. There's a special ward at a central hospital for Eden patients. Treatment and search and a search for the cure are underway. But information there, but information there is kept heavily restricted. There are facilities even relatives can't enter. The rumor is that they are concealing facts to help protect Kashimir's image. But this remains firmly in rumor territory for now. But lately, there have been half. They've been happening behind the scenes and at central hospitals. Behind the scenes? Meaning Kashima Enterprise, right? Yes, correct. The hospital's under under control. There's they're the same Kashima who runs the Eden network. The number of patients is increasing and the symptoms are getting worse. Now, now of all times is when Kashima needs to come clean, not remain silent. An alarming number of people are being admitted to the hospital in question. And security in the special ward has allegedly been beefed up. This means something's afoot. It was going to happen eventually. Yes, indeed. Yeah, think I'll put some coffee in. Ah, damn it. I think I'll put some coffee in. Uh, on after all, we can toast the agent success. Success. Oh, look at the tab. I better get going. <laughs> Back to the station. So, alright, but let's save the toast for another time. See you later. Just runs the freak off. I watch out for coffee. 
especially the color and the, all the chunks floating in it. I fear the day is coming when I'll be forced to actually taste her coffee. That day won't be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> There's always one character that can't cook or make something for the life of them. They just can't, for whatever reason. It was, as he said, fresh information on Eden Syndrome is hard to come by. Fisherman is behind the scenes. Restrictions are doing their job. Security will only get ramped up all of the more from here on out. There's something very strange happening in Eden. Then you show up in your weird body, and the, and the, at the same time, Christian apparently on the move. Is that a mere all merely a coincidence? No, it has to be all connected. The rationale is plain as day. No leaps in logic necessary. I'm heading to Central Hospital. I need to get as much info as I can before security is stepped up. I'd be thrilled if you came with me. You might be able to get some info on your current state. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be. No, in your case, it'll, it's let, let's go with open sesame. Uh huh. Hmm. Well, what to do at times like these? I tend to start off with a frontal attack. Let's try direct negotiations to get us into the hospital's special ward. On those night, that seems sketchy. Yeah, you're pretty sharp. You're a pretty sharp one. But pre preconceived notions can sometimes lead to unintended consequences. Don't ask for the details. The, they say that ignorance is bliss, after all. I'll give you your instructions later. Until then, gather info inside the hospital. Ask questions in the is the asking questions is the most fundamental cornerstone in detective work. I wasn't joking when I said you could become a specialist in the field, my dear perspective assistant. There is a mouse on your mouth. Become a GP and record my activities in a chart or become a boy with shining red cheeks. It's really a lot of fun. <laughs> I am concerned. I am deeply concerned. Why the hell is the creepy music playing? They give uh, animation to the weirdest of places. Like, it's mainly... Like, it's not even like... Uh, then again, to be fair, the first few times is like character introductions. That's when the animation starts, but like... Then again, even with Omnimon, but yet, then again, none of the royal knights, like, other than Omnimon, get an introduction. So that's interesting. Or like an animated introduction like that. It's just Omnimon. Hello there. Well. Oh. All right, so let's go. In there. Let's see. Uh, special ward. I think I have to go to that immediately, right? And then talk, and then I get the prompt to go down. General ward. Let's go. Here. Hello, new viewer. All right. This is a special ward. Unless your family or hostile stiff, entry is strictly prohibited. It's me. We can ride the elevator to the special ward floor, but can't enter the rooms without permission. It goes without saying that we have no such permission. What do we do now? We take out the two guards and hack our way pa past the door, which is likely locked to get into the room. This is what I call a frontal assault attack, but it takes time to prepare and the risks are high. Let's not rely on the frontal attack now. We'll trust in your abilities, our trump card. The terminal is in the nurse's station. It should be connected to the hospital network. I don't have to spell it, it all out for you, do I? Oh yeah, we get another encounter. I just registered that. So this will be our fourth encounter. I don't know what we're going to get with this one, because I... 
Because even in the... I also have a special, separate playthrough going on. Basically for just recording, uh, you know, gameplay and also, you know, to uh, get some pictures so to put in the team roster down there, mainly. Um, yeah, so, but I didn't make it this far, so I have no idea what we're going to encounter here. Or what we're going to get at 100% immediately. So, we shall see, I guess. We should probably try to get it though. Um, okay. Why did it stop? Ah, right at the end. Ah, uh, looks like the same. Oh no, we get the... Eh, I guess that counts. I guess we don't have to... It saves us from doing it over and over again. Okay, these guys are all just attacking. No. Uh, let me see here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, now we go with... Adam? Oh wait, he's not super effective against anything. Well, he doesn't have an element to be super effective against something, I should say. He's like a standard, or normal. But you... You are super effective against this. There we go, dead. Well, we got a new Digimon. <laughs> Don't know what I'm gonna call that one, though. I'm still unsure whether or not it's, um... It's a... You managed to get there without incident. Hee <laughs> hee, just as I expected it would go. Okay, let's move into action. Get the data from the room in the back while keeping an eye on the patient. Leave it to me. Hmm. I, I leave it to you, my pros, pro, 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 prospective, pro, eh, prospective detective or assistant. I think. No way. Is this me? Is this my physical body? That was shocking, but. I was expecting to see that my own body was in such a good shape, I should be happy, I suppose. But if I'm being kept in an isolation ward, then I really must have Eden Syndrome. Indeed, that's one of the... Okay. File 1, Eden Syndrome. A serious illness where by people suddenly fall into comas while connected to the Eden network. Originally, the term was given to the inc incessant vomiting and other symptoms common to the was used to spending time in the digital world. But now Eden syndrome is used to describe the more serious ma ma mal malady of inex inexplicable loss of consciousness while connected to, e to the Eden network. After extended time in a coma, the body weakens, becomes more susceptible to complications. In the worst cases, this has led to death. File 2. Treatments for Eden Syndrome. No effective treatment has been found for Eden Syndrome. Research continues into treatments and causes of this explained illness. Association with Kirishima Enterprise. It, Eden is a large-scale digital space operated by Kashmir Enterprise. Deeply affiliated with the governmental agencies, Eden's business areas are expanding quickly. Immediate improvement and user training must be provided to warn users against long login times. Furthermore, the Eden interface uses Kashmir Enterprise's pro proprietary technology, making future research sharing problematic. Okay, that doesn't explain direct shit. So what you're telling me is nothing. Why are you here? This area is supposed to be off limits with guards watching over the on the entrance. How did you get in here? Did you do something to the guards? Who even are you? Don't answer a question with a question. Answer me. 
I'm just a plain detective's assistant. Wait, is Cur Curry me? I see. Well, never mind then. You came to investigate Edenstrom, right? Was there something you wanted to ask me? I'll answer your questions. Don't get me wrong, I'm just trying to come clean in order to clear my own name here. I'm in debt to Ka Kamishiro, so if you have a few questions, I can answer them, I think. What should I ask? Dear Kirvishu, sir, I've never heard of anyone recovering from it. Someone I know has been stuck in a deep sleep for a full eight years now. I'm sure he'll be fine. Someday he's he's sure to wake up. But now all I can do is wait. What happens? Well, is well as you can see, patients with Eden syndrome all fall into a, in a coma. I've heard of no other symptoms. Do you know someone who's shown others? Who is that patient? This patient here? They were just brought in. They weren't here a few days ago. Are you worried about them? Oh, you two look exactly alike. Do you have a twin, perhaps? No. Hmm, I see. That's quite the co coincidental resemblance, then. There are rumors that are old in some kind of conspiracy. That is a misunderstanding. A mistake. Kamishiro wants to find a cure for Eden Center 2. That's, that was why they built this special ward and have specialists working around the clock looking for a cure. The is that anyone should suffer because of Eden. I've, I've got to do something. I apologize for interrupting such an important conversation, but you have an uninvited guest. Hello, guards! Thanks for working so hard. Ooh, another hottie. Miss Ray? Oh, we, we weren't expecting you today. Check out the bulging pecs on this guard. One, one look and my heart is all a flutter. Oh, I can't resist. Oak, oak, oak. Miss Kishibi, I'm on duty. Ooh, so hard. We all know what's going on beyond that wall. <laughs> we all know what's going on behind that wall. Re Kishibi. Making the round behind the scenes? I'm curious what a Kashima, a Kamishiro bigwig is doing here. We got information we needed. We got the information we needed. Now get out of there. No need to overstay your welcome. Oops, I've got a visitor as well. Let's meet in the lobby. Then don't rush. Then don't rush and don't make a fuss. I'm making a fuss! <laughs> Hide! Quickly! Oh dear, Yuko, you're, you're well, I trust. Miss Ree, what happened today? I don't recall seeing your name on the approved visitors list. Ooh, hoo, hoo, no, I'm not. Maybe I was just struck with a sudden urge to see my dear darling Yuko. Are you worried about me being all over by my lonesome? No, my Ree senses were tingling and I had to... Come see if you were being a gloomy Gus again. I knew it. Thanks for the follow. Who's loading personality? <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> loading personality for the fall. <laughs> oh gosh. Hi. I knew it. I knew it. This is all t so terrible, isn't it? Not particularly. Ooh, look at. You acting all strong, but I know, I know all about it. By the way, have what have I, what have you been doing here? Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to you. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. <laughs> By the, oh yeah, I read this already. N nothing, nothing special. A picnic of sorts? Yes, I, I mean, no, it, it's... Uh... 
Oh, wait, I was... Yes, dear. Yes. Dear Yuko, is something the matter? No. Is there perhaps someone else here? Perhaps a boyfriend? I'm trying to sound as unhinged as possible. Or like slightly unhinged. No, it's nothing like that. Or maybe it's a girlfriend. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. shall I have a little look around? Doing something unscrupulous in that room, or better yet, something scandalous. Ooh, -hoo. uh. What's with this music? <laughs> this is a weird music for what's meant to be like a threatening situation. Now, 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 I've got you all figured out. You can come out now, Yuko's new squeeze. My name is Ri, and I'm taxed with being Yuko's guardian here. Holding hands or locking lips, guiding each other step by step towards adulthood. I don't think an adult should be talking like this. <laughs> because I'm 90% sure they're in middle school. Th Wait, actually, no, because I think they mentioned high school. Still, <laughs> so bad. Well, Trat, there's nobody here. But dear Yuko, it doesn't matter. You can bring one or two boyfriends, or even three dozen of them, if you'd like. Why, when I was your age, ho oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, the amount of, um, well, let's not talk about it. <laughs> now then, let's check in and see how he's doing. Don't you think he'll be happy to see the two of us together? Um, sure. Where did they... Dramatic side-eye. And <laughs> this is like, hey? How does this happen? Alright, let's go. I think I already caught a Digimon here, so I don't need to worry about capturing any of them. Go, Samurai Jack! <laughs> I love how his uh, microphone like lights up before he attacks. I like that a lot. Hmm? Uh, what? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, come on. I guess this is... What the f Baby Marimon? Or Mini Marimon? Whatever the frick you're called. You're here? You're an encounter? <laughs> That's my thing? My question. You're a freaking encounter? I don't know. The more you know. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, wait, I can't access it because we will go into immediate cutscene. For... Damn it. So I can't add the Digimon yet. Eh, well. <laughs> you were yet. You escaped the predicament all on your own. <laughs> See, I knew you could do it. Now then, shall we head back? <sighs> okay, there we go. I can't imagine what the shock of seeing your own body from the outside is like. If we think of it like an outer body experience, maybe we can find a solution. There's a solution for that? You're the first Eden Syndrome patient to exhibit the, these particular symptoms, the first irregular amongst them. Simply knowing that simply knowing that is a major step in getting to the bottom of this. You can't rush the investigation, you mustn't hurry things along. Stay cool, stay calm. 
doggedly and with your when all your mind exhibit endurance like hard black iron. My father used to say that all the time. But back to the, to the issue at hand, what are you planning to do next? Do you want to return to your original body? Don't you want to know the truth of what happened? Okay, then it's decided. You should work here as my assistant. I'm surprised we have yet to leave the Digimon now that I think about it. There will be many cases dealing with Eden and Cyber's Prime. The more work you do, the more clues we'll be able to find. Oh, excuse me, bloody hell. While you're at it, I'll cover your room and your and board. <laughs> Besides, with your talent, who else is better suited for a cyber investigation? Make some great things. And then we have an agreement. For from this point forward, you are my assistant, Cyber Sleuth. Hmm. Have a seat on the sofa and wait. I'll make some coffee. We'll drink a toast to celebrate. And here comes death. <laughs> Seaweed and red bean paste coffee, my specialty. Oh, I know it looks all fancy, but wait until you get a load of the flavor and aroma. Here's to you, Cyber Sleuth. Okay, the moment she said that, we should have clued in that there was something a little bit more off than she is, because... Even for anime, that's a bit off, but then when you think about, like, what the reveal is, it's like, okay, all of a sudden it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and I died. I've just passed something out for life at that point. Let's get down to it. I have something for you. Your first duty to kick off your new career as a cyber sleuth. If Nakano is going to be your base of operations, you should make the rounds and introduce yourself at the various establishments here. You'll be depending on these places a lot, so it's important they know who you are. Hmm. Oh yeah, let me explain about the whiteboard. Hanging on the wall up to the right of my desk is a whiteboard, you see? You see it? You can accept cases from there. Field practice is better than book learning. I'll go put some simple cases up on the whiteboard. Check it out and start working on some cases. Urgent cases is red, normal cases is blue slash yellow. Green Digiform cases. Okay. Okay, let's get going. the cat. Good kitty. Good day, Cyber Sleuth. I thought it was about time you came by. Won't you come inside my little shop? There's something I have to do for you. We are bound by fate to do this. Hurry up, please. Okay, then stick out your hand and let her hold still. Next is the other thing. Turn around and don't move. Leave it all to me. All done. <laughs> I installed a special program into your ah, damn it, oh, well. into your cyber form, adding some certain features. You can now scan physical things with your right glove and capture cyber data of the target. In other words, once things from the real world are in your hands, they can become cyber data and be and be brought into cyberspace with you. Acquired data will be kept in your storage room. Storage. Such, as in, such a convenient world we live in today, don't you think? Modern technology and whatnot. This is not modern technology. This isn't just any modern technology. 
You shouldn't be surprised by such things. Your body will continue to... No, it's better that you, if you don't know what the future holds. All should be as fate directs it. But if you lose your way, come and see me, and I shall be happy to point you in the right direction, to the best of my ability. As you use a connection jump to come directly to the T-Lab from wherever you might be. The border between this world and the digital one is growing thinner and thinner. The proof of that lies in the fact that I was able to meet you in the real world. But that might not be a good thing as far as the world is concerned. This is likely the, the harbinger of far worse things to come. Meeting with you assures me of the light of hope that will shine for this world. Huh, I wonder if I will enjoy this new world until we meet again in the Digilab. I keep forgetting, like, she's like some sort of, like, Doctor Who motherfucker, isn't she? Like, she hops through worlds or something. Well, not, I guess not Doctor Who. But, like, she can hop through worlds and shit. Like, she's not just some random person that can only do certain things. Is she here? Or is she on the level below this one? I'm gonna say the level below it. All things considered. Oh, yeah, I can't enter the DigiLab until I complete the quest, is that? Or at least talk to everyone and go into this place, which is... Which... This looks cool. This little thing. Stands out. Okay, one more level down. Is she down here? I think this is where she is. Yes, she is. Huh? Oh, hey, you're safe! Phew! Well, I assume so. After what happened in the digital world, you should be fine in the real one. But are those critter little critters okay, I wonder? No way, you don't remember, you insensitive Claude, the dude one that protected me! Well worried, and had they not been around, I would have been... Well, I've got this problem, and I've had it since I, it was a, I was a child. When things get serious, I always get frightened, it's like my mind goes blank and I freeze up. That must have sucked for you, I'm really sorry. Well, do you want to go shopping now? Wow, you're a cyber sleuth now? That's great! A cyber sleuth, really? A cyber sleuth. What is that exactly? What's a cyber sleuth? No skin off my nose, I don't know if it's good or bad, but I totally gave up on figuring it out. It's probably better than being a hacker. That said, I'm a hacker. What the fu- Arda, he, he was a hacker. He helped me out, but he was a total hacker. That's a little depressing knowing I was lied to the whole time, this whole time. I haven't seen him since. Ah, this, this is the pit. Times like these, I want to throw on the new Jimmy and single and get me my freak on. And that's the first time I ever get interested in that character. Welcome, please come in. Take it. Take any open seat. You're Miss Kurumi's assistant? She hired an assistant? Wow, so you get to bask in her radiant beauty to your heart's content. Whatever you want? Huh. I'm so jealous. It's outrageous. Truly outrageous. Boss? Yes? What is it? You don't look at me like that, do you? What? Oh, you creepy total burb! I quit! Right here, right and now! What? What? And I'm taking full payment for this month's salary. Please, I'll be billing you for 20 months of lint earring. You're paying my psychological damages. Oh, our customer. You can one of the coffee beans, right? These are the coffee beans Miss Co always buys. Here you are. Here you are. Getting selected coffee beans. Hang on, Sakak-chan, quit. 
putting out of the blue like that is kind of puts me up high. Does it now? Well then, shall we negotiate, boss? Negotiate? For what? For what? Why? For my hourly rate, of course. If you're going to play stupid, I'll sh Oh, sure. What? We're talking of a harassment lawsuit here. Yikes! They make quite the pair. But that is it. That as it may, I've got the beans to try to explore. Yeah, uh, just slowly back away. Thank you very much. Come back anytime. That should be enough saying hi. Alright, let's go back to the office. Yeah, there we go. There's only two things I realistically needed to do here. Uh, so you have to go here, here, all right. It seems you've made your rounds. There are quite a bunch of characters, but that's what it takes to live in Nakano. Next, I'm going to have you hit the streets. I want to see how well your digital self can blend in in the real world. The final stage of your testing. Go around and do you asking questions. You might find yourself the topic of rumors people saw you like that after all. While you're doing that, I'll clean up my affairs. I've got to make a report, a report on my investigation to Detective Mat, Mata, Matayasho, Matayoshi. And I forgot the more important It's m about your mother. It was a blessing in disguise that your parents were working abroad for so long. They were going to come back when they heard you were sick, but I told them you were released from the hospital at the last minute. You should contact them and reassure them you're okay. Agreed. I called my mother. She's very busy with work. Now I'm worried about her. How are your parents doing? Hmm, it seems like you, there are no problems. It's good that you put them at ease. They'll probably call again. I'll leave your parents to you. Handle them well. That's your duty as their child. Speaking of duty, it falls. Head to Shinjuku. Okay. Well, now I can access the freaking what's his name? The thing is, she says parents, but we only get text from the mother. Where's the dad? Where's Papa? Damn. Okay. Let's see here. Here's what this is. Did you convert? Who is it? You got you. Ah, I'm assuming. Yeah, right. Okay, so. There we go. Uh, now, I don't know what to name this one. Um, what do I name you? Another durable- we have so many durable ones. We have like one nimble bastard. Everyone else is just durable as shit, apparently. Wow. Anyway, uh, moving on, let's see the evolutions. That's what we're working with. You are... One level away from evolving. You are way off, still. But you'll get there. You are also way off still. And you apparently can get a you can you can be Botamon. And I think I need to teach you into this, the very bottom one. And you need to be calm. Oh, but the thing dies so freaking easily. Then again, my Terramon would be good. Actually, now that I think about it, probably best that I do do that. Actually, let's keep him at the back for now. Just get him to a high level. I'm gonna see if, like, okay. If this has new people, or... I mean, it clearly did, but they just didn't pull it up. Okay, they don't have that many. So, gonna use the other one. It's just easier. 
But I think these things are a little bit closer to, like, in trainer levels. Stuff like that. I just love how the, the Samurai Jack just does a backflip. But that's a tag, I love it. Oh jeez, I can just stand still and call these guys. Yeah, the rest of them are basically... I think this is where we start getting... <laughs> uh, sorry, jeez. I think this is where we start getting more, like, rookies, things closer to rookies than, uh... In trainers, that's it. In trainer ones. Or baby stage two, if you want to call it that. But, like, yeah, this is where we start getting more in trainer level Digimon. Yeah, dur it's durability just sucks. It's not a very strong Digimon, weirdly enough. Then again, if I get at least high enough and then swap it out with another one. Basically, I just need to make sure the fastest ones are on the field. Just work one more level, and then I'll swap. And start collecting calm. What the hell are you? You're new. The one in the. It's like a little torch. Or something. It's like, what are you? Okay, there we go. Now, let's see. 52, 65, 48, wow. So, somehow, the guy that is nimble is the slowest. Somehow. I still don't know what to do. I need to figure out a name for this little guy. Though I don't know what. That is the question. Please, no. <sighs> oh. Oh, well, this is gonna hurt. Ouch. <laughs> that hurt. That hurt. There we go. Damn, he's so close. Alright, yeah, I sneezed the sore. level. Actually, this is probably a good place to end the live stream, to be honest. Now, let me just... Actually, wait, let's just see what this evolution is first, because I'm curious. Digivolve... You. What in the world are you? Because you're a different Terrier mod. Or 
what it, whatever its name is called. You're not, but you're not a different type, which is interesting. Oh, what the hell? Mm, okay. You're an interesting one. That's an odd one. And you did evolve into a metal Greymon? Why? I mean, that's interesting, but why a metal Greymon of all things? Well, yeah, I guess that's the Digimon, I guess. An odd one, but an interesting one. But yeah, guys, that'll be it for the live stream and the video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!